everybody, it's Holly and happy fall. So today I'm doing some more Halloween projects and this one is super fun. So I'm using Knitwit Collections. It's called Fly by Night and it has all these witches that are literally adorable. I love them. Some spiders, a ghost, some frogs, uh, some owls, you know, headstones and brooms and all these papers when you buy the collection come with this, plus cute little elements. Uh, such a darling little collection. Once again, it's called Fly by Night and I will leave the link down below so you can go in and check this out. So what I have made today are these cute little Hershey snack size treats. And it's just a simple way if you're looking for something to hand out to trick-or-treaters or your children's school class or even just a special friend you know your co-worker something like that that just says hey happy halloween to you and it's just these big uh, matchbox kind of holders and i've added a little velcro right here onto mine just to keep it secure but let's look at this cute little witch this witch is sitting on her broom with her frog of course, I've added a bow and I've popped her up. Isn't that cute? You could make this as embellished as you like, or if you didn't want to pop up things, just put something like a sticker on the front. You could make this super, super easy. But I've added some Velcro and then it opens up and it holds, you know, like three Hershey size kisses. Uh, today, we're going to be making them with three mini size Twix. So, you can use a lot of the very small uh, candy bars and you know you can put three in so this is a very cute little gift I'll pop that down with the velcro here's this cute little witch she's sitting there with a pumpkin and a frogs on her hat is that just so cute and then the candy bars on the inside so let's just go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to make these cute uh, snack size holders. So what you'll want to do is you want to start out with a piece of paper that is eight by three and three fourths, eight by three and three fourths, and then bring in your scoreboard and we're just going to score it on the eight inch side. So you want to score it at three and a fourth, at three and five eighths, and at seven and a fourth. And you're done. So go ahead and fold and burnish on those score lines. And you can see it just makes kind of a very large matchbook. Was that so simple? I feel like, oh my gosh, I didn't even really show you anything. But you know, you add some cute paper and some cute embellishments, and this turns out to be such a darling craft. I'm gonna add a little something on the inside you know you could embellish this on the inside and outside or once again go as simple as you want that purple looks so cute october 31st so just adding something simple right there on the inside let's go ahead and take our candy bars now what you do is you just want to take the little flap here and i staple it just above that score line there okay so my thing still folds up good and you just take some a stapler and go in and staple that little tiny tab there see that holds it in just perfect so put another one in there and then three the thing that I think is so cute about this is you can fit three snack size candy bars in there. So it's a little bit more than just handing out one, but look how cute that is. And of course they flip up, but they are in there nice and good. I have decided to go ahead and put some Velcro on the inside just to make sure that mine is more secure. And it's just super simple. I'm just going to add a few decorations. Look at Mr. Froggy. <laughs> I love Knitwit Collections, and this is such a, just a darling little kit, fly by night. We'll add Mr. Frog there. You can certainly add some, oops, let me let him dry for a minute. You could certainly add some embellishments on the outside, like I've done with this one, or you can just 
uh, Velcro it shut and leave it plain. I'm just trying to show you different options. Of course, the bow is not optional, so get your bow on. I wonder if Froggy wants it on his hat. No, nope, we'll just put it over here to the side. So a little bow to finish off your project. Maybe we'll add a little flower, two flowers. So tell me, how are you guys doing today? Are you having a fun crafting day? Fall is such a fun time of the year. I get so excited for Halloween to go in and see my little grandbabies dress up. It's so fun. It's so fun. So these are embellished flowers. These are flowers that just come with the kit. I mean, I love buying digital kits because you can make these embellishments any size. So I just sized down Mr. Froggy so that he would fit on my project. And there you go with the three little candy bars. So here are my three finished snack size holders. What do you think? Aren't they so cute? Especially cute with the Knit Witch designs on them. Go ahead, try it for yourself. Let me know how it goes. You know, if you got some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. Um, also, real quick, is I do have a Facebook group. It's called Smile by Holly, and it is a group where everyone can go in and post all of the fun things that they're making. So I encourage you to join and post all the crafts that you're making. I would love to see them, and I'm sure everyone else would. So have a fun crafting day, everybody, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.